good, y'all? Man, we got Spider Man 3 update, man. Godzilla vs. Khan Synchro. You know, Khan beat. Every time, hey, look. You know, before we, before I, oh, man, we got Chucky, Chucky series uh, teaser and more. But, um, you know, we got three, um, um, three C films, man. But before I get to that, just video and shit, man. Every time I said Khan gonna whoop that nigga ass, for whoop Godzilla ass, which he did, for y'all get triggered in the comments. And I had two comments saying Godzilla won three times. And that's false though. That's false. You feel me, man? Sorry for the noise in the back, but that's false though. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just false. But um, yeah, Khan won two and one. You feel me? I'm gonna get Godzilla that that one fight in the, in the end. You feel me, man? He won two on one. Kyle won two on one. Godzilla won that one. And that's it. Now watch y'all. Y'all gonna comment and say, "Oh, Godzilla won three. I get that shit. But hey, let me let me talk my shit, folks. Let me talk my shit, man. You feel me? But anyway, man, about to rap to this, man. You know, I would like. I mean, I like the movie. Some people didn't like the movie. I I, I like the movie though. The movie was fire though, man. They, they you still know that they do a single, man. I hope it don't be. You know, ass and shit. The movie was fire though. They, they just kept this like the movie right here, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it alone. <laughs> let it be. It was fire though. Now let it be. You feel me, man? And now Chucky series though, man. Let's get to the video, man. Let's get it. This movie news story that it's like, what are you doing, Hollywood? But all right, let's let's give it a shot here. Deadline is reporting that an animated anime movie based on Peace Canyon and the works from Run Wonder Street. A Peace movie? What kind of mess? A uh, Peeps? Hold on. A Peace movie? Huh? movie based on Peeps Candy. They, they, now they're making everything. Now they just, they, hey, you can do it like, I can make a, I can make a, uh, 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 what's it called? One of these ice cream, ice cream movie. Call it ice cream movie. Why you can make anything for one got the budget money. Shit, you can you can make everything. So cat for uh, I mean, hey, shit, I'd be I'd be funny if they made all this money and they they ain't make a return though. That should be funny as hell though, no cap. In the works from Wonder Street. Yeah, right here, they are making a movie out of the Peeps Marshmallow. Some of y'all probably just had a bunch of Peeps. Nah, I would say, who gonna watch the movie? Kids. Kids gonna watch this. Kids gonna watch this movie, though. No adults, no old mother. No old motherfuckers gonna watch it, and kids gonna watch it. <laughs> no cat. I, I, I'm not watching this shit, though. But let me gonna watch it, though. If you know, if you're a kid, though, no cap. This past weekend with it being Easter, and I'm a man who also loves partaking in them good peeps, so I can only eat like four before I just start getting sick to my stomach. But if you don't know what they are, they just start appearing out of nowhere around Easter. They end up everywhere and anywhere, and they're just really a sugar-coated marshmallow. But here in the article, this is what they're planning to do with the animated movie. They say here, Deadline has learned that Wonder Street has acquired the film TV rights to the marshmallow candies, with the feature billed as being in the spirit of Trolls Meet Smurfs. It will follow a ragtag group of peep characters who set out on a cross-country journey in order to attend Peep Fest, an annual brand celebration in Pennsylvania. David Goldblum is writing the film as well as producing alongside Wonder Street. If you're really pitching this movie and you're like, troll- I'm not. Trolls I'm not. Meet Smurfs. Hollywood Gold. Y'all already done peeped up. Now even though I am knocking on- Oh, uh, Joe, nah, I watched Smurf though. Smurf was a good movie though. Trolls, I ain't see Trolls though. I heard about it, but I ain't see that shit though. But Peeps, hell nah. Hell no to the not no 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 cap. On this right now, I am a firm believer that you could make a good movie out of anything out there if you put the right story, the right characters, the right people behind it. Yeah, you can though. You can. No cap, you can. If anything can be a good movie, but you gotta admit, when you hear something like a marshmallow candy being turned into a movie, it's like, how is that gonna work? The story. That That's why I said like, 
they have here where it's a bunch of geeks headed to a convention where they're celebrating their brand as an annual thing. That could be a lot of fun depending on the type of peep characters you add in there. I'm sure it'll all just be stereotypical characters, a smart one, a funny one, a mean one, a dumb one. It'll probably also just be star-studded with a bunch of famous celebrities voicing these people. That's what I was saying, like, they got celebrity that, no, that's all I'm gonna help them out though. I, I don't know, I'm already know there's gonna be a lot of celebrities on this show. Of course, you know what I'm saying? Just like the other movie, I forgot what it's called, though. But they had a lot of slippers on that shit, too. So we'll see what happens with this. As of right now, I'm going to hold my judgment until I see a little more of what's going on. But how do you guys... I already, I already judge my shit. I ain't going to watch it. Now, kids going to watch this? Older people? Me? Hell no. Nah. I feel about peeps being turned into a movie. You know they're going to release this on Easter weekend, and it'll probably end up making a lot of money. It's going to. Diving into the horror world. I don't know about making a lot of money. It's going to make money, but not a lot, though. Feel me? Nah, yeah, let's glad kids watch that bitch. Some of our stores, we gotta talk about one of my favorite little horror icons, and that is good old Chucky. Now, you guys know here on the channel, I am a big fan of Chucky, and I'm really looking forward to the sci fi TV series they have currently in the works. And they just went ahead and dropped another little teaser over the weekend. I'm gonna play it right. Don't overpay for camera gear, this tool can save you money. It's a browser right here for you guys. I don't know that. Oh damn, that's how they do it. This fall? Damn. All the way, come back. Oh, okay. That right there is the mechanical animatronic beam built for the Chucky TV series along with past dialogue that we've heard from previous Chucky movies. That line in particular from Bride of Chucky where he's in his grave. I really like how they're dropping little teasers here and there for this Chucky TV series that'll follow Chucky in his childhood hometown returning to get revenge on someone that wronged him in the past. But right here, what I'm loving about it is that they're keeping the practical effects aspect. I mean, even just seeing this animatronic swing around a kitchen knife gives me goose bumps that face when they turn it around it lets you know that there's love being put into this tv series also yeah. lets me know since they're building a new animatronic skeleton for this doll we can definitely expect a new looking chucky doll for this tv series chucky has looked very different in all his previous incarnations my favorite appearance is in child's play 2 that is just when the boy looked fantastic that's also why i was so happy to get this version oh yeah that yeah yeah that version and the other version was good too okay there's another chucky doll where he from Child's Play 2. I unboxed this in a previous Child's Play update if you want to watch that. But still, just something to continue the hype up for the Chucky TV series. Are you someone who's going to be watching that show or are you not a fan of Chucky at all? I'm I'm, 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 I'm going to peep it out. I'm going to peep it out though. You know, I, like, I like Chucky though. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to peep it out though. I'm definitely gonna peep it out. And you're just gonna be skipping this. One movie I really do hope we come to see this year is Ghostbusters Afterlife. Ghostbusters Afterlife luckily was one of those movies that we thought we were about to get before the pandemic, so we got a trailer release. It looks absolutely fantastic. A nice refresher for the franchise and could be exactly what the fans want. And we just got a little update from Bill Murray himself that I think should continue that hype up and make you want to see this movie come this fall. Even about how much screen time he has in the new movie. He goes ahead and says when talking to Collider, I think he's really got something. Talking about the director Jason Reitman, it was hard. It was really hard. That's why I think it's gonna be good. We were just in it for a little while, but it was physically painful. Wearing those packs is extremely uncomfortable. I say hit theaters on the moon leather. We had batteries the size of batteries. They now have batteries the size of earrings. It's still really heavy thing to wear all the time. The special effects in this one are a lot of wind and dirt in your face. There was a lot of gold going down and getting back up. It was like, what is this? What am I doing? These are like Bulgarian deadlifts or a Russian kettlebell. Getting up and down with these things on my back. Damn. It was very uncomfortable. Usually when something has a very high misery quote, something comes of that and some quality is produced that if you can capture it and project it, comes on the screen and affects you. I think it comes out sometime in the fall. They've delayed it for a year or a year and a half, but I'm glad they did. It will be worth seeing. Those are words right there from Bill Murray himself. Okay, okay. A guy who's just straightforward and says what he thinks, saying right there, look, it was a pain in the butt filming this thing, having to wear that proton pack. It's heavy. I I know you're talking about that bad, but bad. I know you're talking about. Gotta get up and down, wind and dirt thrown in my face. That should let us know. 
I have a challenge for all of you. Go to every computer in your house, your mom's, your dad's, your sister, your brother's. So the OG Ghostbusters are definitely involved in a big final battle that probably is going to be epic. If they had Bill Murray going up and down from the floor and doing his own stunts, poor guy, he's really pulling through for us Ghostbuster fans. The only sad part here is he does mention we were just in it for a little while, so don't expect the OGs to be in the movie a lot, but I mean, even for Bill Murray being on set for maybe like a week, they can really use that footage to their advantage where something like Robert Downey Jr. and Spider-Man Homecoming where the man was really only on screen for a total of 10 minutes but because of the way they divided robert downey jr throughout the movie in the beginning in the middle and then at the oh, end yeah. he feels like he's a big part of it they could do sort of the same thing here with the og ghostbusters where maybe they only filmed a little bit of stuff but if they sprinkle their scenes all throughout the movie it feels like they're a big part of the film either way just seeing the ogs come together fight off one big monster hopefully no one bites the bullet and it's just them passing the protons off to the next big Ghostbusters, someone like Paul Rudd, I think has me pumped and really wanting to see this movie. Just knowing they're gonna suit up, I think it's gonna be awesome. Does what Bill Murray says about Ghostbusters Afterlife hype you up? Before we get to talking about some Spider-Man 3 news right here, we had to talk about the big money maker that was this weekend of God. Yeah, they made a lot of money, no cap. Godzilla vs. Kong, okay? Some of you guys have probably already heard it. Godzilla vs. Kong, absolutely. Like I said, God, God with that ass. No cow. Let me say it again. Con was that ass though. Con got Con beat that ass though. And he beat God's ass though. Now argue me in the comments one more time for dominated at the box office this previous weekend heck their movie is even the thing responsible for a lot of studios now feeling more comfortable releasing their films in this time because it's like hey people actually showed up and when we have the rule of limited capacity See, they they thought people ain't gonna show up because of the c19 and she oh man people gonna show up regardless of love, man people gonna show up regardless if you got guys up versus con those two epic titles for people gonna show up for people are definitely gonna show up man and it said it top 300 million worldwide. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. It still managed to make so much money. Like, as of right now, me filming it, the movie has crossed over $300 million that's worldwide. That's a, that's a where Godzilla King of Monsters, I've, I've in total, for being in theaters for like three months, four months, made $386 million. So, one, that lets me know. People really wanted to see Godzilla vs. Kong. This could have been an $800, $700 million movie. But the other reason I'm bringing this up and the success for Godzilla vs. Kong is because the director, Adam Wingard, did go ahead and let us know that he did film a post-credit or after-credit scene for the movie that he removed. He went ahead and said exactly. We actually did shoot a post-credit scene. Oh, they did shoot a post-credit scene? I was looking for that, though. So they did, but they, why did they remove the post-credit scene? Like... Why they do that? <laughs> Why they like you keeping it now? Like, but we ended up using it in the movie because we shot it while we were making the film, and we realized we need a scene at the end of the movie. We had this footage. We were like, wait a minute. If we actually change this thing about this footage we originally shot for a post-credit thing, we can actually use it in the movie, and it's really effective. We kind of sacrificed our post-credit scene. Which makes sense because honestly, it's not even like a post credit scene. It's teeing up anything specific. It wasn't like saying this is definitive. This is definitely where the MonsterVerse is going next. Continuing on saying the MonsterVerse is at a crossroad. No. where audiences need to vote if they want to see another one of these films before they- Oh, we gotta vote. Should we vote that then? continue so one of the reasons is one the post credit scene actually is in the movie somewhere so if you guys have any guesses to where you think in Godzilla vs I think the post credit scene is when they went when he went to Ireland and they you know that type of scene uh, you know they went back to the island come kind of back to Ireland and they you know got they all they, they 4k cameras or whatever it should call and shit and I think that was the post credit scene or maybe it might be the other one I don't know though I think that, that might be it, but yeah, that might be it. 
Kong is the post credit scene. I'm really stopping to thinking about it, and I don't know what scene in particular could have been the post credit scene. I think I've been here. Most likely would have been some Hollow Earth stuff with King Kong. But the second part he mentions there is we have to let the audiences decide whether they even want to see more monster movies because before Godzilla vs Kong. Every Monster Universe movie was making less and less and less money, letting the studios know people don't care about the MonsterVerse, but then Godzilla vs. Kong happens in the pandemic, and it could actually end up making more money than King of Monsters. You even also went ahead and had people doing a little bit of the Snyder Cut thing where they were saying continue the MonsterVerse, saying fine, you want a hero? Wait, it said, wait, fans celebrate Godzilla vs. Kong record breaking box office open in the US, USA. By making the hashtag continue the monsterverse trend online. Okay, see, so I like it. Because Khan beat Godzilla ass, though. Khan beat Godzilla ass, though. Y'all liking it. Okay, Team Khan every day. So, hey, y'all hear the fans, though. They want, they want some more. Now, don't make no bullshit now. Because then they're going to be like, no, nah, we don't want this shit no more. But you make some good shit like this. And they want some more. Okay. There are voices for this world. Here you have it. And even the official account for Legendary that mainly financed Godzilla vs. Kong. Oh, even the even the Legendary, you know, they said continue the Monster vs. Trend. Okay. Also tweeted out. So it looks very likely that we will get a continuation of yeah, the Godzilla vs. Yeah, Kong world, yeah. whether it is Godzilla vs. Kong 2 or just separate movies of Godzilla or King Kong, which I think would be the most likely scenario with us having a movie of King Kong on Hollow Earth. But then what do you do with Godzilla? He's already fought Ghidorah. Is there something else out there he could do? I think they've teased now in both movies that a Mothra baby egg is out there. I wouldn't mind if the movie is maybe a more personal story with Godzilla going to find that Mothra egg and take care of it for his once friend. So with the box office and then planning a post credit scene for the movie, it lets me know a sequel to this world is coming, but I want to throw it off to you monster fans. What do you want to see be done in the movie sequels for King Kong or Godzilla or heck, just another Godzilla vs. Kong 2? All right, getting on to some Spider-Man 3 talk. We have two big juicy updates concerning Spider-Man 3. Some that could give us some false hope. The other is a set photo that really makes us wonder what could this possibly mean for Spider-Man No Way Home. Raid is a free-to-play action RPG for both PC and mobile. There are over 500 badass champions to collect. The first thing is probably something you went ahead and heard online about is that the Spanish voice actor that does the dubbing for Tobey Maguire, what this means is whenever they translate a movie to Spanish for Hispanic audiences, this actor, Roger Pera, is the one who voices Tobey Maguire and he has for all the three films in Sam Raimi's trilogy and during a YouTube interview, he confirmed that he is set to come back and do some work for Spider-Man No Way Home. So Man, I heard that shit, folk. I was like, happy to be back, man. I'm like, man. Man, we wanted to back so many years, folk. But he finally came back. Hey, as long as it's just one movie of him, man, at least, at least he's back in the Spider-Man world, man. Because I've been waiting for him to come back. I don't know how long and shit. No cap. Saying, yes, this is going to happen. I don't know when, but we are going to work on it. Saying he will lend his voice again to cover somebody in Spider Man. Now, everybody immediately was like, okay, connect the dots. He's Tobey Maguire's guy, and usually these guys keep working on the same actor for all these movies. So there's another big clue and hint that the Spider Verse is actually happening. Yeah. Then people did a little more digging and they found out this exact same Spanish actor also did the Spanish voice dubbing for Jake Gyllenhaal in Spider-Man Far From Home. So it's really up in the air to what you think this could mean. I mean, it's more likely looking now that he's going to be voicing Mysterio and we could see Mysterio return. We've already gotten set for- Nah, I think I need your return because it's like, I don't know he died though because then he showed a video. Like, I don't know he died though, man. I don't know, cause he got, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. He gonna come back somehow. Just like, just like Loki, he came back. So, yeah. 
photos of posters saying there's people in New York City that believe Mysterio was innocent and Spider-Man actually did kill him. There's even theories that Mysterio is not dead and he has like a second contingency to come back. I'm of the mindset that he is dead, but I wouldn't be surprised if he has some sort of robotic AI hologram to come back and haunt Peter a little more. And if that's the case, then it would make sense why this voice actor would be voicing Jake Gyllenhaal. If not, yeah, I really hope it's him voicing Tobey Maguire. I would love to see that boy back. The other thing that has surfaced on... What that? We get, man. Tobey Maguire on that bit, folks. Hey, I'll be... I'll be happy as hell. Okay. Find that is definitely causing some speculation to what it could mean is we had this person named Houston who walked onto the set of where they were filming... Accidentally walked into... Wait, accidentally walked into an area where they recently finished filming Spider-Man No Way Home in Atlanta. Oh, they are in Atlanta. Okay. And I was in Atlanta, hey, I'll be in there, I'll be in the shoot too. No way home in Atlanta and found what's left of a set piece today. Oh, they ain't really, they ain't really, um, they ain't really take it down yet. Damn. Spider-Man No Way Home in Atlanta after the crew has already left because, well, they're done shooting the film. Yeah. He found a prop left over from the movie. Man, they, they usually, they, they usually take them props down, but I guess not. Shit. Movie and post it online for everyone to see. If you zoom. Knowing that the reserves were there for me, I could still be a part of something that I love. Zoom in, it's a poster of the Statue of Liberty with the words saying, Meet New York City's newest and tallest Avenger. Hashtag NY Liberty Avenger. You also pair that up with some reporting from Murphy's Multiverse who goes ahead and says that he's heard insight that the big, huge, climactic battle for Spider-Man 3 takes place around the Liberty. This could give us a hint to how the movie might end and something that happens in Spider-Man's world. To what? I'm completely at a loss for what yeah, other fans too. are thinking maybe a little... I'm lost too, and it said Taz Avenger. I'm like, what the fuck? So more realistically here, and are putting two and two together with like Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where you see the U.S. government really trying to push the agenda for like a Captain America and showing some of that patriotism. Oh, what if the U.S. government goes ahead and then purposely adds a shield onto the Liberty Bell to kind of sell off that their Avengers are good people that we should go ahead and let them in? Really, I would love to hear from you webheads out there what you think your fan theory is on this poster right here. What could it mean and what symbolic reason could it have with Spider-Man No Way Home? There's a reason they would want to introduce it here because we haven't seen this anywhere else unless this is a poster that's going to show up at the end of Falcon and Winter Soldier. But that is all movie news we currently have going on right now guys I uh, anyway man we got spider-man 3 update guys it versus this con single chucky series teaser and more man that was the video right there man man we got a lot of news though man let me know you watch peeps you know what i'm saying peeps i would not watch that peeps marshmallow shit man you feel me you talking about i'm not judging till i see it me and mom already judging that shit i ain't gonna watch that shit though man you know what i'm saying for, for kids though kids viewers out there man they gonna watch that shit though, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know that's, that's a kids movie though, man. But I, I, me as bro, I'm not, I'm not watching that shit though, you know what I'm saying, man? But the con sequel, I'm gonna watch Spider Man, of course, I'm gonna watch it. And, 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 and I'm watching even more. My boy Toby McGuire came back, so we, yeah, we miss his ass. We miss his ass, but you know he left us in the dust. But he coming back one more time, man. But if we do, hey, I'm, hey, I'm gonna be happy even more. I'm, I'm gonna be excited even more though, no cap. Then we got my boy Chucky though, man. I'm definitely watch that. I didn't even know they did a series. I didn't know Ch uh, Chucky series came out, but you know, I ain't really hear no like, Twitter. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't hear shit. But hey, you coming back with that, man? And then we got even more. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, that was a good video by um, 3C Film, man. And um, yeah, let me know what y'all think, man. What movies y'all gonna see? You know what I'm saying? What movies y'all excited for? Let me know in the comments down below you know what I'm saying? like the video up let me know what you know it's like videos or not man let me know in the comments y'all like the video up and um yeah though i'm out y'all man and um yeah i'm out all right peace